Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Eureka Airspeed Ultra Lightweight Powerful Compact Vacuum because I need one. My last one just broke on me. It lasted me like four or five years but it just gave out the other day. I was vacuuming my room and then all you heard was like the engine not working anymore. It smelled all funky so I had to go out and buy a new one. So this one's available on Walmart and it's about $50 and this is actually one of the cheapest vacuums that you'll find at walmart.com but it's about 50 bucks and some of the positives about this vacuum is that it's a lightweight bagless upright vacuum cleaner it only weighs 7.7 .7 pounds the power cord length is 18 feet it has an easy empty flip bottom dust cup at 1.7 liters it also has a Revix tool or dusting brush at the end of the handle for cleaning upholstery or cleaning those little corners in your room that you might have. Also the windows could be reached or anything that's high. It has that little attachment. The vacuum also has a washable filter so that you don't have to be spending money on filters all the time. So it's going to be pretty interesting. You know, I'm going to try it out for a couple days. I'm going to follow up on this review and tell you guys what I think of it. Of course, I'm going to show you guys how to use it, right? But first things first, we got to build this sucker because it's in here and I don't know how many parts it's going to have, right? Hopefully it's something easy, but you start off with your manual. I'm not going to read it, but all right, here goes the tools to use with your attachment to get those hard to reach places. You got a long one right here and the one with the little brush for like uh, maybe for your car or something, right? But um, I'm gonna take out this vacuum and see how hard it is to put together. Looks like this is where, is this the attachment? Looks like this is the attachment, right? For your accessories right here. It's the way around. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Now this is kind of big. <laughs> oh, I'll be cleaning all the roofs in my house. All those spider webs, they are done. And you know what, wow. Hmm. This is it. This is, this is the piece that you get right here. You guys see this? This is the vacuum. And uh, I guess there's not much assembly required. Like, I really thought I was going to have to play around with the screws and stuff like that. Like, I even had my screwdriver ready. I had my screwdriver right here. I didn't know if it was going to be, like, what type of screw. So, I had my attachments also. So, I was prepared to build this vacuum. But I guess, uh, I guess you don't need to build it, which is good, right? The more convenient, the better. Now, we just got to figure out where this part goes, which is, looks like it's right here. Wow, that's, that's really... That's really it. This is interesting. Literally, I just, like, I'm going to show you guys, but, like, literally, it was just putting this piece right here. Like, this is it. Like, you get two parts. And there you go. Your vacuum's done. Wow, this is this is the most amazing thing ever. I didn't have to do nothing. Well, I was prepared to uh, play right now with this thing, but your attachments, they go on the vacuum, and I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But as you guys can see, it has the attachment place right here. So you put all your attachments right here. Which is good, that way they don't get lost. They have a, a wow, and they're actually kind of hard to pull out. Which is good, that way you're not losing them. So it's kind of cool that it has its own place to put the attachments at. I always lose these things, like I'll leave them somewhere. Ah, doesn't want to come out there, right, there you go. And it also has a little hose so that you can suck up those hard to reach places. The only thing I am noticing, compared to my last vacuum, this uh, hose is a lot thinner, right, so... I mean, it's only going to be small objects, right? But uh, in case you're looking for a vacuum that has a bigger hose that can suck up more things, well, we'll see how this one performs right now. But that's pretty much it. Looks like this is the bagless. Uh, uh, I'm just struggling with this bad boy, huh? Looks like this is where you discard your, your trash, which is good. And we're going to see what's inside of here. And right here is a washable filter that they advertised that you could just bring out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's easy. You just bring it out and you can wash this. So, we're going to check it out. It looks like this can be also come out in case anything gets stuck in there. And get rid of that. But, it's going to be interesting. Right now, I'm going to use this in my room. Because I have not cleaned my room in about a week, you guys. It's really messy. So, it's probably going to get a bunch of trash. Look at the cord. The cord does seem to be really big, you know. So the vacuum has two steps. One of the steps is to power on the vacuum, which is this one right here. This is how you turn it on. And this one's the one that you press to lower the vacuum so that you can start using it. So first, we're going to press the one to lower the handle. And then we're going to press the power button and see how this bad boy works. <laughs>
I do want to show off my carpet though. I love the color gray. And as you guys can tell, there's a lot of stuff on my carpet. Like, look at this. This is like a string. We got like a Dorito right here. <laughs> Just like little trash. And this is the trash that you can see. Now imagine what's on the ground that you can't see. Like, we got a little... I don't know if you can see this. Look like a little wrapper right here. A little piece of paper over there. What is this? Like a, a ball of hair? Something weird. I don't know, man. I don't know where this stuff is coming from from my carpet, but... So this right here is after using the vacuum and look at this it looks a lot cleaner than how it used to be the dorito that was here is gone and all the other little trash that's here is gone i did notice that of course it's not going to clean the corners well so i did see there's like little trash right here but that's what the hose is going to be for and that's what i'll be using next but you can tell that it leaves the it's not so good at picking up the trash from the sides but we're going to try the hose right now but other than that it is doing a good job cleaning the carpet So two negative things that I noticed about this vacuum is that the little hose to suck up all the trash is a little small. Like when I was cleaning this side of my room right here, I had to move the vacuum with me like one step at a time because this thing is small, right? And if I got too far from it like this, it falls. Well, right now it's not doing it. Of course, it's not doing it when I'm recording, but it also could be that since I'm recording and I'm cleaning, I'm having a little trouble with it. But, um, I mean, now it looks like a lot, it pulls out a lot, right? But it could have just been when I was recording that it kept falling. The second thing I noticed about the vacuum is that it doesn't have a setting right here. So that you can do high floor, low floor, bare floor, right? Usually vacuums have a little setting right here where you pick how high you want the vacuum to be. And this one doesn't have it, of course, because it's a cheaper model. They skimp out on some of the features. And they advertise like a extender so that you can get the ceiling of your home and all that and how you get that extender is actually kind of interesting right so first from your vacuum you're gonna pull up this button it's gonna release this handle and this is the extender right here and then you connect the vacuum part to this side you lock it in it does have like a little locking feature right here you lock it in and then you have your little gun so that you can reach the ceilings right so this is kind of interesting it's uh, not something I've seen before, but it's a good way to use the vacuum and I have a lot of parts for it. So this is how the vacuum looks when you add the extender right here so that you can clean your ceilings. And I guess it does reach up here. You know, it is kind of long. It just feels a little tough to pull. Like you can't go all the way to the top. If you do go to the top, you got to pull extra hard to reach up here. But um, I mean, it's not meant to clean like nine foot ceilings, right? But this is a little cool feature in case you're trying to get a spot that's a little long or hard to reach. You can upgrade your vacuum with this little extender, take off the handle, and it becomes something easier so that you can reach those hard to reach spots. So it's time to dispose of all the dirt that was in my room. Take a look at this. Dang. I guess you can see, but this thing's dirty. My room was nasty. And after you're done using it, there is a special place for you to wrap the cord around. That way this cord is not just hanging all over the place. And after I'm done cleaning my carpet, I like using this right here. It's the Arm and Hammer Extra Strength Carpet Odor Eliminator. And uh, you basically just put this on your carpet and it makes the room smell good. And uh, I recommend it. It's under 5 bucks at Target. Because, you know, after you're done cleaning your room... You do want to have that new feeling of like it being clean. So this is just like something you put on top of your carpet. Eh, and it smells really good. So I recommend this if you guys have carpets. So should you get this vacuum, right? So I think you should get this vacuum. It Maybe you only have one room or two rooms in your house that you need vacuumed. 
But if your house has a lot of carpet throughout the whole home, you should probably skip this one just because I think the power on it is a little bit weaker to be cleaning like a whole house. But if you want this to maybe clean your office, maybe a room or two, then this is the perfect vacuum for you for $50. I've been using it for about three weeks now and it has not let me down. So for me personally, I recommend this vacuum if you need it for small spaces if you're looking for something with more power or anything like that then maybe you should get a pricier one but i would give this one a five out of five and completely recommend it if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that delicious like button down below and normally i don't do too many review videos i live in la and i mostly do blogs of me going out to eat to restaurants so if you want to see what's happening in the la food scene make sure to subscribe i post two new videos every single week that you're not going to want to miss this was the la fox checks and I approve of the Eureka vacuum.